Hello, all you coin aficionados out there, and welcome to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have the 1989 Washington Quarter. And as some of you who kind of look on the internet know, uh, there were a few varieties of the 1989 Washington Quarter. And we've got two of them here. We have the Philadelphia Mint, or the P, here and the Denver Mint, or the D, over here. Let's get a little bit better light on both of them. Uh, and you can see pretty clearly the P here and the D here. Across the top it says Liberty. It says, In God We Trust, under George Washington's chin and George Washington facing to the left. And then down here at the bottom it says 1989. Now in 1989 they made three regular varieties of this coin. They made the P from Philadelphia, the D from Denver, and then they made the S for the San Francisco Mint. Uh, but all the San Francisco Mint ones with the S's on them are proof sets. So they made 3.2 million proof sets that year. So even in a proof set uh, variety, uh, these aren't hugely expensive. However, there is also the mystery no mint mark coin from 1989 and you'll see a lot about that on the internet back in the 89 90 that range but you don't see much about it anymore and people wonder why it's not a valuable coin so in 1989 the philadelphia mint had some grease filled dyes that they uh, used for their quarters and there were thousands of quarters produced without a mint mark here and if you look really clearly down with where, where the mint mark should have been you can actually see the impression where the die hit the um, quarter uh, but it didn't uh, show through so there is a no mint mark 1989 but it doesn't really have much value when it first came out people thought it was just going to be huge and people looked for them and found them uh, and thought that it might be worth thousands of dollars. Then it went down to $100, and now it's probably maybe $3. And most um, coin collectors see that as kind of a novelty coin, uh, you know, maybe $3 or less, uh, because it wasn't an error. It was more of just a minting process. Uh, when it came down to stamp, there was some grease in the die, and there has to be some grease in the die just so these coins can uh, uh, don't stick to the die and so uh, there was a little too much grease where the P was you can see the impression where the P hit but you can't see the P on there and uh, uh, coin collectors just don't put a huge premium on them so if you find one it's kind of cool to have but it's not going to be hugely valuable what else do we have know about this coin well in for the P coin uh, there were 512.8 million made uh, and at the Denver Mint, for the D, there were 896.5 million. So we have about 1.4 billion of these, and you see them just all the time and change. This particular coin is a copper nickel clad copper, and if we tip it up, we can see the actually copper showing through, and we can see the nickel cladding on here on both sides. If we flip it over, we see that it just has the regular back on it and it is the eagle holding the uh, bunch of arrows it says the United States of America at the top e pluribus unum right above the eagle's head a quarter dollar at the bottom and these uh, are valued generally by whether you can see the small feathers in here how many lines you can see in the arrows and you can see there's a lot more here whether you can see there's a ribbon that goes through the arrows here underneath the eagle's foot. Um, and the, in terms of the definition of the feathers, uh, these are valuable. Um, there are also some varieties where you see some little die cracks in them, uh, and those would have some value also. But these particular coins here are each worth about 25 cents, and I will just turn them in for some new quarters that I can look at as soon as I get a full roll. I'll take them down to the bank. So these were made from 1965 to 1998. And the engraver uh, 
of the front of the coin was John Flanagan, and the engraver of the back of the coin was John Flanagan. And you can kind of see how it kind of comes down through here. We see the uh, ponytail, the ribbon back here, the D. And so these are both John Flanagan engravings. And they are each worth, as I said, a quarter. So have a great day. Come to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. And if you find a 1989 without a mint mark on it, keep it because even though they're not hugely valuable, they are very collectible because it's one of the coins that you'd like to have in your set if you're collecting them all.